guys, this is High Priestess Jamila, and welcome to your pick a card or pick a pile reading. Uh, this is going to be for February of 2020 for uh, just the whole month, but in particular, this is a Valentine's Day thing, okay? So welcome to the channel. Make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button. Um, I do offer private readings by video, phone, or Skype. Um, if you are interested in a reading, the link to my website is below. You can also cash at me at dollar sign psychic Jamila, okay? All right, so we've got three piles here. I'm not able to find any of my stones. Everything is all packed. So we're going to have to just go by sight, okay? So basically what we're looking at is how the other person feels about you. Um, when I throw these cards... Um, I throw them to make sure that um, it's it's for the person that's watching it. Okay, uh, this will give an accurate this will this will give an accurate reading. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to focus focus on which pile you want to choose. Okay, so you know. It, we're not using numbers. We're not using stones to identify. I want you to go by your sight. Um, your eyesight, yeah, but then just kind of what draws you. Okay, which pile draws you? We have three cards here. Uh, one of them is going to tell them, tell you how they feel about you. The other one is going to give details. And then the last top card is going to represent um, advice, okay, or outcome. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with um, pile number one, okay, which would be this one. So if you guys need a couple of more minutes right now to um, pick which pile you want, then you can do so now because I'm going to go ahead and get started with the reading. What I want you to do is I want you to think about the person that you want to know, how they feel about you, and then I want you to just go with your intuition or just go, you know, with with usually your first mind is the best one. OK, the first one that you pick. OK. OK, so let's get started. You, did you pick pal number one? This is how this person feels about you. OK, first of all, you got the two of wands. <clears throat> OK, and what the two of wands represents is that this person really feels connected to you. Okay, they feel a huge connection. Um, you know, they feel very close to you. Your energy feels very familiar to them. Okay, so they're sort of drawn to you. Um, the emperor comes up. I feel like if you chose pile number one, this person wants to marry you. This person wants to make a commitment. Okay, now they may be coming off as a little bit controlling. And that may be something that you need to talk about. Uh, but other than that, yeah, the Three of Swords comes up. I think that the, con the the aspect of being controlling could be an issue, okay, for you in the relationship. Now, this Three of Swords coming up, I'm sorry, guys, the TV is so loud. Give me a second. Okay, my bad, you guys. So the Three of Swords comes up. Let me know that this may be an obstacle, a huge obstacle in the relationship, it may be a deal breaker for you if that person does not stop being so controlling. Okay. And they're being controlling because of a past relationship. So now they just want to kind of control everything. They're sort of, it's almost like they have a stick up their butt or something, you know, like they have a, a chip on their shoulder. All right. So moving on to pile number two. How does that person feel about you? <clears throat> okay, so if you chose this one, sorry, my phone is sending me all kind of stuff. Um, if you chose this one, I really, really feel like this person probably wants to let the situation go. Um, yeah, <laughs> see, the Eight of Cups to clarify. Um, they're ready to let it go, but for some reason they're having a hard time letting the situation go. Um, 
the, the, it's almost like you probably feel as though you're being strung along and this person doesn't really know how to express those feelings. Um, they have been communicating with you less. So they, they seem to be gradually moving away from you. Um, the advice is the Ten of Wands. So either it has something to do to where this person is not ready for a relationship, perhaps. Maybe they're not ready for the relationship. Maybe uh, relationships are just really difficult for this person. Maybe they feel like the relationship with you was very difficult. Um, they possibly feel as though maybe they um, was putting up more, you know, maybe they were putting up more effort at one point and, you know, you weren't paying attention. Um, also, I kind of feel as though this could have something to do with um, somebody not wanting you to um, accomplish more than them. They may have, um, they may be very uh, work obsessed and, and, you know, things like that. They may be uh, obsessed with competition in the relationship. Um, but this is how they feel. I feel like they feel as though, you know, it's just been too difficult. It's too hard. Okay. And they feel like if it were meant to be, that it would be easier. Okay. So just be on the lookout for this person because they are ready to walk away and they just don't know how to say, they don't know how to say it. They're waiting. They're actually waiting for the right time as well, because it's possibly that it's just not the right time for them to tell you how they feel. Okay. But they do want to walk away from the situation. So, you know, I feel like this would better prepare you so that you're not blindsided. And I feel like it's something that you're not able to see, but you may be able to feel it. Okay. All right, guys. Last but not least, did you choose pile number three? Sorry for the fidgety camera work. Okay. All right. Let's see how this person feels. And I'm so sorry about the TV, guys. Okay. Okay. So temperance comes up in the reverse position as far as how this person feels about you. I feel like they uh, definitely the first thing that it says to me is that they either think that you're too codependent. They could also feel that you may drink too much or that there's something that you're doing in excess. OK, uh, maybe they feel like you overspend temperance is when you're overdoing something. OK, now just to bring some. um they are ready to move on, but I think that uh, things could possibly work itself out with this person. It's definitely a good idea. I'm sorry. It's definitely a good chance, okay, that the situation could work itself out. Um, I do feel that with the Eight of Wands coming up, that this person could jump ship at any moment if they find a better opportunity, though. If they, you know, if they meet somebody that they feel is perfect for them, they could definitely walk away. Okay, now this six of wands does represent success in a situation. So that doesn't mean that the that the situation between you and that person is not going to work out. But I do think that they, they feel that you're clingy. And they don't really like clingy. I feel like this person loves their space. I feel like this person loves their freedom. Um, they don't necessarily want to always express themselves. And so I feel like they are feeling as though it is coming across as being clingy um, or either being codependent. OK, um, part of the reason is because of the way this person was raised. This person was raised to be very independent. Believe it or not, there's a lot of uh, people out there that are looking for people that are independent. They're not looking for someone codependent. They're looking for someone independent. So that's what I can see this person as. Also, this person, um, when it comes to finances and career, okay, this is very important. This person does not want uh, somebody that sits at home. This person wants somebody that works, whether or not, I mean, you can work from home, but this person wants somebody that has their own or has the capability. Um, the reason why they feel this way, what I can hear them saying is that, you know, maybe they want somebody that has like 
more interesting things to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that, you know, they, they like the uh, challenge of, you know, someone that, you know, has intelligence and has an opinion. And I think that some of you possibly could be playing a role that you probably shouldn't be playing because this person is not really impressed with it. Okay. Just to let you guys know. Okay, guys. So that is my pick a pile. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that this reading helped some of you. Um, like I said, these are just uh, general readings. You can get a more accurate reading um, by purchasing a, a private reading with me. I do offer phone video as well as Skype readings. And so all of my contact information is below. Cash app information is below as well. And um, I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Love and light.